Okay, last month, I released the very first version of a brand new modern GTK theme manager. After a few days, I released the version 1.1 with some minor bug fixes and some new features. We are already approaching the end of February and we have a version 1.2 release. And I know it might sound like another small release like the version 1.1, but that isn't the case. Let me show you. So currently, I have the latest version of Evolve already installed. If you see, currently, I'm using the version uh, 1.2. Now, uh, I have already forgotten what were the features, initial features of the 1.1. Of course, the entire app was released, but yeah, what were the initial features? So let us get the 1.1 version first and let us see what changes has come up after that. Okay, so here we have the Evolve 1.2 edition on the left side and on the right side we have the 1.1 edition. This was the initial release of Evolve. Very simple, very few features are there. The 1.2 edition also looks simple on the outside, but I have added some really cool new features. First of all, you might have noticed already that I started Evolve from the dash. This is because 1.2 release of Evolve is now installable. It also comes with this new icon which I designed myself. And it also comes with a new loading page. Compared to the previous edition which looked like this. I know the loading page uh, stays for a small time in the previous edition. Uh, right now it stays for quite some long time. Uh, it takes some more time to launch. It is because I have artificially added some delay in the code in order to make that smooth uh, faded transition since the background color is different initially. But uh, yeah, I don't really know if I should keep that or not. But uh, if I remove the delay, it just makes kind of like a flashing effect uh, changing from the light color to the dark color um, of the theme. So it also doesn't look really good. So in order to show you all the new features, I need to start with a completely fresh install of Evolve. I did not delete Evolve for that. I'll just go to settings and delete account data and all the related Evolve user data will be deleted. Okay, since that is done, I'll just close Evolve and launch another instance. Now I will notice this cool new animation which I've added for the first opening of Evolve. After it is all played, you will be able to see all the new features of Evolve. Uh, version 1.2 and I will change this cards as the app gets updated. We'll get all the new feature tour here. As of now, I've put just three cards and I already think it looks neat. And starting from this release, you will get this uh, info message over here. Just accept the terms and condition and also your responsibility as an open source community member, which is basically me asking for feedbacks and to report problems that you face by just emailing me or writing anywhere you feel like. Might be in Instagram or in the comments down below. Hit the OK button and it's all ready. Now you will notice the top right section, there's a new part known as the album and another part which is the set and 80 plus theme. Now if you have been following my channel for quite some time, you will notice that I recently started providing GUI theme installers, especially for the GNOME customization videos. So if you have used any of those theme installers in the past, you can directly apply that theme from here. Now you probably have also noticed that it's continuously scrolling from one card to the other. It's because it is showcasing that you can do it. If you click it once, it will stop forever. Now, if you need to move to another card, you will just have to click there and it will move to the next card. So as of now, I'm in the set and 80 plus theme page and to show it in a better manner, I'm just going to install uh, a theme that I have and under, under downloads, let's go for the Nordic Mac installer. It is the latest one that we have, accept, groom, skip, go, skip and continue. So. Just a few seconds and it will do all the installation and also apply the wallpaper. I don't really want the con key as of now, so I will just remove the con key from the background. I'll just uh, hit and I'll just run kill all con key. Now you will notice that I did not get the dock and all like I showed you in the theming video. It is because I don't have uh, the necessary extensions installed for that feature. So uh, I don't really want it. I'm just showing you for the sake of this video. So let's open Evolve. Now, as you can see, it applies uh, the background color accordingly. So you might also notice in the left side that you don't have very good visibility of the current condition of the tab selected. You can go to settings and just click improve contrast and it will do the job for you. Okay, right now we can go to the set and 80 plus theme option and we also have the evergreen theme installed. So if I just click on it, it will switch to the evergreen theme. And if I want to go back, I can go to Mac X Nord again. 
easily with the click of a button I can select the wallpaper and all everything. Now you might think that people won't be able to understand from the color that what is what theme and yes I do agree I need to improve this portion of the app but I don't really know how. But as of now you get this tooltip which looks really cool with the glassy effect I really love this effect. I know it does not look native gnome but it looks beautiful. So if I just click this automatically the evergreen theme pack will be applied along with the icon pack if you notice the icon pack has also changed and you get the changed wallpaper theme and gdk4 theme all applied together the same goes for the mac theme again the icons changes shell theme changes gdk4 theme changes everything changes according to the applied theme so some of y'all were complaining that why i'm making a gdk theme manager on flutter it's just because i recently learned flutter and i'm loving this idea of cross-platform technology now obviously you won't be using this app on Android or Windows, but I really feel confident using Flutter. Okay, if you want a quick look into the current themes installed, you can just press this button which will expand that view and you will be able to see all the important info related to your themes. Currently only you are able to see the name, so yeah, just the name is visible, but later I am thinking of adding some more features in this part. In the album part you can do the same thing. So you can expand and see which wallpaper you want to apply and click any wallpaper and it will be applied in the background. But one of the most interesting features of this release is adaptive colors. So I can just set any other wallpaper for this theme. So I'll just go to, let's use a different theme. Uh, let's go for evergreen. Uh, I've put number of images inside one place so that we can apply one of them. So I just apply this automatically the album page will be updated uh, this does not look nice let's go for this one so it's not really uh, the best resolution but uh, you can understand that there is a purple effect in the background so it is main color now let us see what happens when we turn on adaptive colors so i'll just toggle adaptive mode and as you can see the colors are applied accordingly now if you click on that you will notice that there are also other colors to choose from so you can go for dark vibrant color, muted color, dark muted color and more. Now if you feel like that they are really dark and not really suiting you, you can just click on not ok on this part and change the brightness of the theme. I would like to increase the brightness and decrease the saturation and make the theme really a pastel one like we had in the original version of Everforest and hit the ok button. And as you can see the theme is applied. Now if I open another app, maybe it is tweaks for example. The theme is applied with the changed colors. Now while adaptive colors is turned on, if you just switch to a different wallpaper, you will notice another magic. So let us switch to this one. And the color changes according to the background again. Now it's not really perfect all the time. For example, here it messed up a little bit. So it's not really perfect all the time. But yeah, it does the job. You can also switch to a different color like this one. See? Now we have the correct color for the selected text. Okay, now let us open tweaks and also see if the color has changed. And as you can see, the color has changed accordingly. Similarly, I can go just apply any other wallpaper and the color will be adapted accordingly. So again, we have the same problem. I'll just go to adaptive colors and I'm going to select some other color. And as you can see, it looks better. And the problem is probably not in the color itself, but how the app is reading the theme data might be related to that but yeah now let us open tweaks again okay for the last time i think this looks nice goes with the background but again i really like muted colors so i'll just click on not okay and change the brightness levels and reduce the saturation better done okay since we are talking about adaptive colors let us also mention the very important stuff that goes behind adaptive colors that is contrast safety now contrast safety helps you adapt the theme to the wallpaper but at the same time maintains the contrast and readability of the theme so uh, it would be best if i can just show you an example i'll just switch to a different theme so currently we are in the Everforest Dark. I won't be using MacX Node because this element of MacX Node is probably not defined, which is why I cannot change the color through adaptive colors mode. So that is the problem. But anyway, let us go to Everforest theme and I'm going to set a wallpaper. So as you can see, it's really bright. It's like bright red. 
and if I turn on adaptive colors on this version of Evolve, the contrast safety will kick in and produce the apt colors for the theme. It's not really perfect mainly because the definition is not correctly done in this toggle switch so it's not acting properly but other than that it's just app related problem this part don't think about it it won't be uh, a problem in the system so if i open tweaks app see the colors are applied accordingly now if you want you can again go here and change the variant of the color selected so you can go for this one or this one whatever you feel like looks good so you can also apply this this comes from probably this area I guess but anyway this is what it looks like the color palettes but if I go to the previous release of Evolve like this is the 1.1.4 release it is a patreon only only release so this is the 1.2 public release and here we have the patreon only release so um, there's a problem first of all the themes are not updated so I have to restart the app and as you can see the theme is updated properly and adaptive colors is turned on it automatically understands that since it is turned on in the 1.2 release so yeah it does the job but now if i switch to a different wallpaper you will notice the change happening different wallpaper it will be setting the adaptive theme and it also takes a lot more time than the uh, latest version so it looks really bad the colors are not looking nice the text is not visible so it causes a lot of problem now uh, if i even open uh, tweaks you will be able to notice how big of a problem it is so i'll just open tweaks as you can see it looks horrible now it's possible to go to adaptive colors and change stuff from there again it takes a lot of time to open open that so i will reopen the latest version of Evolve and it also takes the color because it has been applied. I'll go to adaptive colors. So here are two color palettes which have been defined. I'll show you side by side. So right side we have the latest version whereas on the left side we have the older version. So you also get the light color palette here. Now if I apply one of the uh, these in the latest version that we have so I go for the vibrant color or the dominant color, whatever it is. But uh, you will notice that the background remains dark on the darker side. So it doesn't change like it has been done here. It has, it has changed, but the change is very subtle. So it looks nice. But here the change is just too much. So if I go to dark variant, vibrant color, the color just blows out. I mean, the text becomes completely uh, unreadable. There's this light variant. You might think it's better because you have the light variant. So I'll just apply the light variant in the dark theme, which is the Everforest Dark B Adaptive. And if I try and open the terminal now and try to write something, you will notice that the current color which has been applied does not look nice with the terminal inside the dark terminal. So yeah, it does have a lot of problems. So let us select one palette from here and apply it. Okay, we have to apply it again. Done. So if I go back to Everforest Dark B and again back to Dark B Adaptive, the uh, color will be taken accordingly. The same goes for the red color. If I apply red in the latest release, it will go for this variant. Now if I apply it here, let's wait for a few seconds. It also fetches the right one because that color is common between the two and it also takes a lot of time to open here but if i just click here it opens instantly so it's much faster again two color palettes are here but you have a lot more over here so you can also apply these colors doesn't look nice so yeah this is a nice little feature here uh, even if you don't have other muted color palettes it was possible to just go to uh, this one let's close it this one and change the brightness levels and saturation to match it accordingly but uh, it is already done by default in this version of evolve you might feel like not using the adaptive colors anymore so you can just right click and toggle it off
and the colors will again go back to the original Everforest Dark B or the original theme colors. And this goes for any other theme. So if I go for the Mac X Nord theme, you can see the current applied wallpaper. I'll just go to, so let's select this wallpaper and I'll right click and toggle adaptive mode. So as you can see, we have the Mac theme adaptive theme applied. If you want, you can again change the colors from here itself, click OK and it will be applied here. Now, if you are bored, again, you can just go back to the original Mac theme. Now, the About page has also received a small little update. So, as you can see, you, you will be able to see the icon uh, from now, the icon of Evolve. Previously, it was not like that, not really interesting. So, if I go to the 1.1 release Evolve version, it looked like this. Now, it looks like this. I've also included text for urging users to send feedbacks to my email ID. So I don't really think anyone would be reading any of these, but it just looks nice. The settings page is also a new addition. Now uh, Evolve maintains a data file for the users so that it can save uh, certain stuff. Uh, let me just close the 1.1 release. Okay, so you can just delete your account data. You can scale up the text. I'm really working on this to add a slider kind of thing to increase the text size for the app itself. Uh, you can improve contrast, turn it off. Turn it on. If you turn it on, you will see that the headings are more bold. The selected text becomes more bold. And if you turn it off, you lose the outline. So it doesn't look nice. I prefer to keep it on all the time. The install page is also updated right now. You will see the style of the blur containers are updated everywhere. The same goes over here. I really wanted to implement this as a stack so that it would be visible on top of the uh, files shown below. But uh, I couldn't really do it over there. So I'm just using a blurred container like that. I changed the sidebar location from the left to over here. So if you see the previous release, so there's this sidebar and it's located below. This part is located below. Now you have the entire thing on the top and there's no sidebar. Instead, you have some quick locations. Now, someone asked me why I did not use the system file picker like here. I've used for the wallpapers. Uh, for installing new themes. The problem is I want to show a different user interface. So if I just go to downloads, I'm just going to show you what I want. Currently, I have Everforest Dark B installed, but you can see that it is already fetching the theme data and recognizing if this is a theme or not. And it also shows different icons for uh, themes and icon packs as if they are kind of like an installable package. So this is a folder actually, but it is seen as an installable theme package inside the app. So if you want, you can just easily install it from here itself. Done. The same goes for icons. It shows a different icon for the icon packs. So currently I have some icons installed. I'll just go to home.icons. So we have these two icon packs installed. I'll just move them to the downloads folder to show you how they work. So here we have the two icon packs which are also interpreted accordingly. So install, done, install, done. Now it's asking me to restart the app. So I'll just restart again. Now in the icons part, as you can see, we have the correct installation done. I don't think this can be done with a system file picker, so I used my own. Now I know this does not look native and I'm working on that to make it look more native. But as of now, the primary focus is to improve the user interface and make the app a lot more fluid and fast. So yeah, these are all the features of the version 1.2 release of Evolve. And I will also update all the code on GitHub. The current condition of the code, let me just show you, it is really bad. I don't have anything uh, done in a proper manner. No comments and all provided inside uh, properly. So it looks really bad uh, as of now, all jumbled and messed up. So I really want to clean it a little bit before I post it online and make it public. So just wait for a few days and it will be available on GitHub. Okay, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you think about this release of Evolve.